Hi guys, uh, this is Roman, or you might know me as uh, Shumix MD on RC Groups. In uh, this video, I want to talk about a new line of uh, multi rotor motors from FPV model. Uh, they have a very uh, big range of uh, sizes for uh, these motors. They named them. Uh, FPV model obviously um, I got uh, 43508 700 kV that I will uh, put uh, on my uh, 550 um, size quad um, the box is uh, very nice uh, they packed the motor like uh, Rolex watch maybe a little bit better than uh, it should be um, usually we, we care about uh, the performance of the motors or any equipment rather than the box itself but um, it is a nice box let's say um, first thing in the box you see this warranty card uh, which uh, is not filled in uh, in my case because they are for uh, test and the most important thing in the box tada, is the motor uh, hard. okay this motor with uh, long wires because uh, it's a multi rotor motor and it's supposed to be mounted on the arm and the AC somewhere on the plate. Um, okay, uh, what can I see with uh, clear eye on? Uh, on this motor it is perfectly finished it very smooth uh, finish uh, so it looks like I said uh, previously beautiful but um, this is not the criteria that we look for uh, we should uh, firstly see how they will perform uh, no slope in the shaft in the bearing at all I put a very big effort so no slope at all um, the windings uh, are quite good but uh, that's okay because uh, bigger motors are easier to um, to win to made to make sorry probably you will not see but uh, inside the motor uh, I also opened before another box you can see some excess of blue past I don't uh, know what exactly it is but um, firstly I I think this is uh, the magnet uh, the glue which uh, hold the magnets uh, in place and they put it uh, in excess uh, because on a, another motor they even uh, scraped scraped it off uh, because it probably didn't let the motor to to spin freely so uh, they had to scrape it or this uh, past could be uh, put here especially to balance the motor which uh, I don't quite uh, think it it 
it's for this reason I think it's an excess of uh, of glue on this motor we can see it here and here and on on this which we unpacked right now it's only in one place maybe it's for balancing maybe it's just excess okay uh, this was the motor let's go next to see what we have here okay nothing else you get the prop adapters this spinner style prop adapter and uh, this style I don't know how they call it uh, usually for carbon fiber uh, propellers and also you get a pack with uh, one two three four six five six uh, six uh, bolts for um, for adapters uh, they um, they use allen wrench style uh, hex and uh, also you get uh, three three point five uh, bullet connectors uh, I don't prefer uh, this type of connectors but uh, nevertheless they are used and uh, you also get uh, shrink uh, head shrink for the connectors okay this was what everything was everything what uh, was in the box so um, let's wait the motor in the specs uh, they say that um, the motor weight uh, 92 grams let's see 99 101 actually on previous motors I saw 100 101 101 okay this is the weight of motor and um, including let's say this adapter prop adapter you get 110 uh, grams so they uh, are a little bit uh, off approximately with 18 grams okay this was everything uh, that I wanted to say in the first video uh, next I will put them through some tests uh, I want to measure the static thrust and uh, um, compare it uh, with uh, what the specs uh, says and uh, after that uh, I will put them on my uh, copter and uh, will check them uh, in flight so stay tuned for next videos ask questions if you want to and uh, thanks for watching